As the world tries to shift towards a net zero carbon future, electric cars are seen as an important part of the transition. However, the batteries that store the energy for these vehicles have been a point of conflict for many. The issues that cause these conflicts largely relate to the range, recharge time, price, safety and environmental impacts of the batteries. So what's the answer to all these problems? Well, the Chinese firm BYD think they have the solution. This is the new BYD Blade battery cell. The main difference between these battery cells and the ones used by many other automakers is the shape. This is a commonly used 21700 cell. It is 70mm long and shaped like a cylinder. In comparison, this is the blade battery. It is nearly a metre long and shaped like a rectangle. So why is this so revolutionary? Well, let's see how it helps to tackle the five issues I mentioned before. The topic of range is really an issue of storing as much energy as possible into as small a place as possible. Normal battery packs in electric vehicles have complex and large cooling systems running through them. These take up a lot of space and result in less battery cells fitting into the vehicle, therefore resulting in a lower range. One of the key secrets to the blade battery's success is its large surface area. This large area means it can be cooled by air flowing through the gaps in between the cells, removing the need for large liquid cooling pipes. Not only this, but the batteries can act as a structural component to the car, replacing the need for parts of the chassis. As a result, when the full battery pack is constructed, the BYD battery can store more energy per litre than the Aldi e-tron, the Jaguar I-Pace, and even the long-range Tesla Model 3. On the topic of recharge times, this is also tackled by the large surface area that allows more heat to escape from the battery while it is charging. This is important as the faster you charge, the more heat is generated. Additionally, the cells use a lithium iron phosphate chemistry which is great for charging and discharging very quickly, with the added bonus that is also the cheapest of all battery chemistries. Safety is something many people worry about after seeing videos of phones and cars going up in flames. Whilst the dangers of this in normal EVs are actually very low, they're even lower with the blade batteries. Here is a video of a nail going through a normal lithium ion battery. It doesn't look too good, does it? In fact, the cell can reach up to 500 degrees Celsius. Now, here is the same test with the BYD blade battery. Due to that massive surface area of the cell, heat can escape quickly enough to prevent any fires and keep the battery between 30 and 60 degrees Celsius. Finally, on the topic of the environment, one key issue with batteries is the use of a metal called cobalt, which is primarily sourced from Australia and Congo, where there are many issues with toxic waste and human exploitation. BYD's blade batteries solve this by not using any cobalt in the cell chemistry. Also, recycling of the blade batteries is much easier. Normal cylindrical cells are hard to disassemble as they are rolled up tightly, but due to the shape of the blade batteries, the layers can be pulled apart much more easily for recycling. However, it is not all good news, as unfortunately, the cells are manufactured in China, which has a grid highly dependent on fossil fuels, and therefore, there is a lot of pollution associated with actually producing the cells. Despite this, it's not all bad, and I think the blade batteries solve a lot of important challenges. Also, this is not just a concept. The BYD Han, the first model equipped with the blade batteries, has sold more than 10,000 units each month consecutively since its launch in July 2020. So what do you think of the BYD cells? Will the blade battery replace the conventional cylinder? Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe with notifications on and like the video if you want to see more in the future.